making sure that your computers and devices, the tablets, the phones are safe from malware can be a tedious task. Your electronic devices may already be infected and you may not even know it. The Justice Department recently warned that over a half million routers mm. were infected with what is thought to be Russian spyware. So joining us with more on what this means and how to protect yourself is tech security expert and author of IT solutions for your business, Ed Bensinger. Welcome to Great Day. This is one of those things where it's like you can never hear this enough of how to protect yourself. No, you can never, you have to hear it. So the worst thing about this new Russian hack on the routers is it's a botnet and it can affect any device out there that's connected to the internet. It doesn't have to be a PC, it doesn't have to be a Mac, it's not any interaction a user does themselves, it just, it's a vulnerability in the code itself of the hardware. Interesting, and so this is specifically coming from Russia or are other countries spying on us in particular? Well, Russia is a pretty known um, right. state hacker. I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking China. China, I, I North okay. Korea, those are okay. other big ones. Actually, you know, um, a lot of the countries that end in Stan actually will attack okay. you. So a lot of the Eastern Bloc countries okay. still do a lot of Russian hacking, so, or a lot of hacking, and you just kind of want to avoid those if you can. So we know we're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. What do we do to protect ourselves? When it comes to the, the, the router hack, the first thing you got to do, according to the FBI, is reboot your router. But don't stop there. Read the whole article. Rebooting only kills the process that is intercepting your email so your if you're already infected, it stops it right then It and does there. stop it right then and there. But if you were infected once, you can easily get reinfected. Mm. So you have to follow the instructions of going in, changing the password, disabling remote access, and critically doing the firmware update. If you really don't know how to do this, this is you know above your technical ability, just look at the list and go buy a new router that is not on the list. Okay. Because, you know, the hundred or hundred fifty dollars it'll cost you for a new router is nothing compared to how much we it have can the take. we have the list on our screen. Tell us about this list. So the list is very popular routers: Netgear, D-Link, right. Linksys. Um, those are the big popular ones that okay. you really want to avoid. And what about really reliable want. ones? So there's a list of the hacked ones, but here's some names for the reliable ones. So so far, Portal hasn't been infected. Google routers, the Norton Core. Those, these are good home routers okay. for security that will help. It's kind of like the, you, you want to pay to know that you have a good, reliable router. So it's like, but it's a small price to pay for your protection of your identity and your money and everything else. It's a very small price to pay. I mean, you know, a couple hundred bucks compared to having your bank account wiped out and mm -hmm. you can't pay your mortgage, your car payment and your identity's gone. Right. It could it's take nothing. months to clean that up. <laughs> so what about people who, um, okay, their home is secure, they took that advice, mm. but they're traveling, mm. you go to a hotel, or you're maybe working at a conference or just on vacation, and you wanna plug into the Wi-Fi so you don't drain your battery and, and blow up your data plan. <laughs> I recommend not using any public Wi-Fi anywhere because you never know who set it up. Okay. So, Even if it has a password on it, you still just, Stay away from it. So yeah, the you know, Russian bots are working at Panera Bread? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. So they, there are devices out there that I can easily carry around. They're about the size, about this big, just a little USB drive, mm -hmm. that I can actually go in and spin up a public Wi-Fi access, and I can call it Panera Bread, I can call it Starbucks, I can call it whatever you want, and people can attach to it, and I can steal usernames mm. and information oh, wow. the whole time. So somebody, up to devious things, could name their Wi-Fi a popular business name and oh, yeah. then you unwittingly connect to it. It happens all the time. Hmm. So I, I always carry my little hotspot with me mm -hmm. and I really suggest an uh, external MiFi device like you see on your screen there. The, the reason being is the name hotspot really became hotspot because if you ever use your cell phone like for Facebook Live or right. any kind of Skype you notice it starts heating up and it gets warm in your hands that's why they call it a hotspot so when you're traveling especially as much as I do I can't be without my cell phone so I always mm -hmm. carry my external device they're cheap if I burn it out it's a hundred bucks I get a new one Real quick, I want to ask you before we go, because we do have the midterm elections coming up and there's all the talk about the hacking the last time. So what should we know going into this midterm election and how to not be vulnerable to that? Well, 
with the last election, right, with the Trump election, we heard all about the Russians interfering with Facebook and right. putting out different ads and stuff. So remember, if you're using public Wi-Fi to access Facebook, even if it's on your phone, you know, it doesn't ask you for your username and password when you log in. But you have it saved, yeah. It's actually doing it in the background. Okay. So don't lose your Facebook username and password and don't let the Russians allow <laughs> your account to be compromised and spread false information. Good All right, information. So and you said the FBI has more information on that. And they do. thank you so much. We advise all of our viewers to go and look, look at those government websites and protect yourself. And we'll be right back with more Great Day.